growing up, I was, you know, the band girl. So I did music and, and, and stuff like that. I hated PE. I still remember my teacher, uh, my PE teacher would walk by and he would see me eating in the canteen and he'd be like, Desiree, you better be careful, if not you'll grow fat. So you can carry what, what do you do? What do you play, the trombone? You can carry it up and down. I, I played the clarinet. <laughs> So it wasn't very heavy. Yeah, clarinet. <laughs> I did try the fruit uh, juice cleanse before. Um, I think that's okay if you do it like maybe one day or two days, just to detox yourself and you know clear the tract, so to speak, before you start. But for those who've done it for like seven days or even a month, kudos to you because I'm just like this. I would crave for certain foods and I want it now. If you're talking about salads, then uh, you know rocket leaves are a must mm. for me. But if it's like a, a, a vegetable dish at a Zita restaurant, for example, I must have my sambal kangkong. Mm. Actually, I came from a background of not loving vegetables at all to actually really loving vegetables now. And the one dish that made me turn over was definitely sambal kangkong. So I would recommend that to anybody who feels that they don't like vegetables. Give them some sambal kangkong, they might just turn over a new leaf, <laughs> literally. Wow, how do they go about making this? I have no clue. It's pretty really warm because everything kind of goes well. Okay, I'm very curious to know what is in the crust. I'm guessing it's some sort of like a oatmeal type base. Yeah. And then together with the crunchiness of uh, you know the vegetables, there's this nice texture. I'm just trying to sound as, you know, <laughs> like an expert, uh, like an expert, like a food guru. Even though, yeah. well, we we should actually do a disclaimer that we're no expert in food here. So yeah, it's like for a moment, like hey, I, we're I just sound... two hungry girls. So it kind of looks like it's a meat patty, but uh, yeah. I believe it's not. Have nope. you taken a bite yet? Not yet. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. It's actually raw quinoa. It's got spices in it, so it tastes. It tastes like it's got a bit of chili inside, yeah. so peppers, mm -hmm. everything like a whole salad in there. Mm. So if you're craving for a burger and you just don't want that you know, oil and you know that feeling when you eat an oily, sloppy burger, this is a change. It's a good change. Hulk. Yeah, it's really cool. I thought, I thought this, this would be the Hulk because it's green. Yeah. <laughs> mm. It's like a salad. It's like a liquid salad in a cup. <laughs> Go ahead. This on the other hand, it's like a, a berry smoothie. Definitely something you can have for breakfast to fill you up. Mm. Yeah, because it's thick. Mm. Nice, right? Yeah, it's actually really nice. Drink up. And you will have no flu for the rest of the day. Tomorrow. I can feel as though like whatever bacteria or virus that I might have in my body is kind of like running home. I think we need this at work. If you were to give this to like anyone and you didn't tell them that this was like a healthy chocolate cake, I don't think they'll be able to taste it. Yeah. Them. I don't think they'll know any better. It tastes just like a chocolate ice cream. <laughs> I don't know how I'm yeah, loving all the real yeah. flavours. It just tastes very real. 